Howdy y'all, Banjo Ben here at Banjo Ben's General Store. I'd like to talk about one of our newer products. It's, it's cool. You know, we're banjo pickers. We like gadgets. This is definitely a gadget. It's made by Gold Tone. It's called their Fits All Damper. And the purpose of it is to go inside your banjo to create a muted effect. I want to show you how that actually works. And I would say that it's not only for a muted effect, but it changes the tone of your banjo as well. So it might be something that you actually want to leave in your banjo and just make it sound various ways. You can adjust where you put it along the head of your banjo to customize how it sounds and how much of the sound that it cuts down on. But I would say if I was going to have one of these in my banjos, it would be on one of my practice banjos that I want to be as quiet as possible. This thing's going to get it as quiet as any mute out there on the market. Um, it's just, it does go inside the banjo, so if you've got a resonator banjo, you're going to have to take that resonator on and off to remove and install this. That's why we're going to look at an open back banjo. Today, let me just show you what's included in the product packaging here. So this is the actual damper itself. It's a leather uh, patch on a couple of aluminum discs there. I actually had this already removed from the box, but this is our base, and this is going to fit along your coordinator rod, either single or dual, it doesn't matter, but this will fit on your coordinator rod that's closest to the head of the banjo. And they call it the fits all, and that's because it's got a couple of adapter spacers here that allow you to customize the length that you need between your coordinator rod and the head, the underside of the head of your banjo. I'm gonna fit this for the gold tone, open back here, and show you how the installation works. So I have the damper adjusted for the distance between this coordinator rod and the head. We want a snug fit. We don't want it so tight in there that we're going to push up the head of the banjo and cause a lot of difference in the playability of the banjo. And of course it has to be tight enough to be able to held there, be held there under its own tension. So we've got our slot here in the wooden piece. We're going to put that right underneath the coordinator rod and we'll find a little bit more resistance there right where the banjo bridge is pressing against the head as we can see. If you need to have a little more resistance, you can of course adjust it once it's on there by unscrewing it just a bit. But what I'd like to do next is just give you a little A-B presentation of what the banjo sounds like uh, with and without the damper. And again, remember that can be customized by where you place it along your coordinator rod and how tight you make it to press against the head. I was playing it. 